Hello and welcome to another edition of Inside the Vault. Today we're joined again by Nick Baryshev, President and CEO of Bullion Management Group and author of $10,000 Gold, Why Gold's Inevitable Rise is the Investor's Safe Haven. We've been taking questions for the last few weeks from our Bullion Buzz readers and today's question is about the Black Friday discounts on gold. On Friday, November 27th, the gold price experienced a precipitous decline for no apparent reason. Nick, can you explain this phenomenon to us, please? Well, Friday's action was another clear intervention that's happened at least a half a dozen times since 2012. On Friday, there was a sale of 19,595 contracts on the COMEX. This is around 1.9 billion and is equal to about 58 tons of gold. Now the sale took place early in the morning on a day when there were few market participants in, in the markets. The US dollar price of gold declined by $15 or 1.4 percent from 1,068 to 1,053. And this is what I call a Black Friday discount for gold investors. The 1,068 level was a critical technical support level that Goldman Sachs warned about about a week ago and the mainstream media made a big deal the fact that gold broke through this supposedly critical support level. Now the thing is that no normal trader would sell that amount of gold during a time when there were a few participants to, to buy. This was a clear intervention for the sole purpose to drive down the price of gold and indirectly silver and not to maximize sales profs, proceeds as would be the case with a normal trader. This happened on a day when there wasn't any negative gold news to justify the magnitude of the sell-off. This also resulted in a drop of registered gold at the COMEX to an all-time low, resulting in 294 ounces of paper gold for every ounce of physical gold. To the astute observer, these artificial interventions are creating a deeply discounted asset and a, and a terrific buying opportunity. No other market allows unlimited naked shorting and this may ultimately lead to a COMEX default. The previous interventions by the London Gold Pool in the 1960s by the world's major central banks resulted in a huge depletion of central bank holdings. The U.S. holdings declined from about 22,000 tons to the 8,000 tons that it now holds and that happened in just about three years. Once the intervention stopped, the gold price increased from $35 an ounce in 1971 to $850 an ounce 10 years later in 1981. Uh, it's my belief the same thing will happen this time. Thanks so much, Nick, and thanks to our viewers for watching. Please tune in again soon for the next edition of Inside the Vault.